tough game last night with Irish and the Wildcats, man. Yeah, they was hooping. 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 First half was jumping. They was hitting threes. They was banging back and forth. The big men was going back and forth. That's an instant classic right there, man. Instant classic. Balling out of control, man. But the Irish gonna be sick as a dog for a minute. For tricking that off. For real. Trick bagged all of that off. Man. Man. They had him, man. They had him. You can see it on Coach Cal's face. They was like, oh, shit. Uh... But, man, you know, but I was watching a little football Super Bowl documentary. Old school Steelers against the Cowboys. And Lynn Swan was talking. He was like, you know, certain, certain opportunities, opportunities in the game are going to arrive. And they may not be perfect opportunities, but it's an opportunity. And it, it's up to you on how you, 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 you cash in on that. You know, they were talking about the Jackie Smith drop and all that little stuff. You know, game-changing events. You know, the catches he made, you know, jumping in the air, you know, acrobatting and all that. But Notre Dame had opportunities, and they didn't cash in on it, man. You know, they started missing little wide open threes late in the game, missing free throws. So they started missing them free throws. I'm like, you know, they go to the line, one out of two. One out, I'm like, man, you can't do that. You got to be like Villanova versus Georgetown. You got to hit everything. I mean, yeah, you ain't, ain't going to hit every single damn shot, but you better be going 20 of 22, period. That's it. I mean, you got to be shooting lights out. And uh, they, they were sporadic. They was hitting. A couple bang, bang, back and forth. Don't know a boy's name, but when, when Kentucky was a little panicked and called that timeout when they was down six, that big three homeboy made in the corner, <laughs> that was a panic three, too. Panic, panic three. And he hit bottoms, though. If he don't hit that shot, that game might that game might be over at that point, but he hit that shot. I think I still think uh, you know other squad came down there and got fouled and might have hit a free throw or something like that or made a score too. But point is, three point shot is like a dunk and one. It's adrenaline, and once he hit that, it vibed everybody back up, man. But that was a big shot for Kentucky, and uh, man, they just went back and forth, man. That was, that was a good game, good game, you know. Kentucky got up late, late. Then Irish another bang, bang, back to back three. But man, they had them though. But I knew, I knew when Irish was up two with like a buck twenty left. I was like, this is the possession. They better score a bucket right here. If they don't score a bucket right here, game is over. You know, that's just like in football. You know, if you if you up and you got the ball. Hey, you need to you need to score a touchdown to put it away. That was their possession, where they would have got a two point. They if they would have went to the rack, got fouled, and got one point, that probably would have been game over. But that went off the front of the rim, short three. Then the next possession, they tricked that off. Terrible. They gonna be sick. They played their asses off, but they gonna be sick, man. For a cool minute, cool minute, they gonna be sick for that. But man. That was a hell of a game, man. I could watch that whole game again. They're going to play that again. That's, that's most definitely instant classic. So we'll see. We'll see how Zags and Duke do. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be a good game, Zags and Duke. So we're going to see how that is. But, yeah, March Madness at its finest. It's a wrap.